today we are going to study about basics image generation instrumentation and modes of ultrasound what is ultrasonography it is basically a non invasive diagnostic tool it uses ultra or high frequency sound waves and their echoes echoes are nothing but reflected sound waves hearing range for humans is about 20 to 20000 hertz more than 20000 hertz is used in ultrasound imaging sound waves are transmitted into the tissue or human body using a transducer probe and the reflected sound waves so these blue colored lines are reflected sound waves are returning echoes so all these reflected sound waves are collected to form an image of a structure first of all it's very important to study about physical properties of sound waves the characteristics of a sound wave can be described by the following parameters so the first parameter is period period is the time taken for one complete cycle so one cycle comprises of one positive deflection and one negative deflection so this is one cycle so period is the length of time to complete one cycle next is frequency frequency is the number of cycle per second the unit of frequency is hertz so 1 hertz is equal to 1 cycle per second 2 hertz is equal to 2 cycle per second next is wavelength wavelength is the distance between two successive crest so this is one crest this is one crest this is one crest so it's the distance between two successive crest higher the frequency shorter the wavelength higher frequency means more cycles per second lower the frequency longer the wavelength lower frequency means less cycles per second higher frequency ultrasound waves create higher resolution images whereas lower frequency ultrasound waves create lower resolution images higher frequency ultrasound waves have less penetrating power whereas lower frequency ultrasound waves have higher penetrating power so next is velocity velocity is nothing but speed of a wave the average propagation speed for sound in body tissues about 1540 meters per second next is amplitude amplitude is the loudness of the sound it is a measure of height of the wave if the height is more loudness of the sound will be more if the height is less loudness of the sound will be feeble or less so next is power power is nothing but it is the rate of energy transfer then next is intensity intensity is nothing but power which is carried by a wave per unit area so all these are properties of ultrasound waves a basic ultrasound machine has following parts so it comprises of a display printer keyboard disk storage central processing unit pulse controls and it also has a transducer probe now let's see everything in detail transducer probe is the main handheld part of the ultrasound machine So this part of the ultrasound machine plays an important role in the production as well as detection of ultrasound waves which means they act as both transmitter and receiver of ultrasound waves by a principle called as piezoelectric effect or pressure electricity effect and this effect was discovered by Jack and Pierre Curie in the year 1880 a transducer probe is made of following parts or components it includes acoustic lens acoustic matching layer negative electrode positive electrode in between both electrodes it has piezo electric elements just behind the positive electrode it has damping or backing material acoustic lens prevents the ultrasonic waves from spreading 
and focuses them to improve resolution. Acoustic matching layer provide the required acoustic impedance gradient for the acoustic energy or sound waves to smoothly penetrate the body tissue and for the reflected acoustic waves to smoothly return to the transducer for detection. Now what is acoustic impedance? Acoustic impedance is nothing but stiffness or flexibility of a tissue to the ultrasound beam. Acoustic impedance describes how much resistance an ultrasound beam encounters as it passes through a tissue. Negative as well as positive electrodes are for electrical connection. Negative electrode is on the friend of the piezoelectric elements and the positive electrode is on the back of the piezoelectric elements. Damping material is adhered to the back of the piezoelectric elements or piezoelectric crystals or behind the positive electrode. So here we have positive electrode. It is made up of plastic or epoxy resin which is mixed with tungsten filaments. The role of a damping or backing material in a transducer probe is to limit the duration of vibration of piezoelectric crystals or elements. Piezoelectric crystals are the most important component of the transducer. Artificially grown crystals are commonly used for modern transducers and are treated with high temperatures and strong electrical fields to produce the piezoelectric property which is necessary to generate sound waves. The most commonly used crystals are lead, zirconite, titanate and quartz. These crystals usually have molecular dipoles with a positive charge on one side and negative charge on the other side. We need to understand two basic principles regarding how ultrasound is generated and how an image is formed. The first important principle is the piezoelectric effect which explains how ultrasound is generated from piezoelectric crystals in the transducer. If voltage is applied across the crystal, the dipole orientation changes and it also expands and contracts. That leads to change in the shape as well as thickness of the crystals. Now these deformed crystals starts to vibrate. As a result of vibration, ultrasound beams are produced. These ultrasound waves are transmitted into the tissues being examined. So this entire process is known as piezoelectric effect. The second key principle is the pulse echo principle which explains how the image is produced. Ultrasound waves or pulses of sound propagate through different tissue and then return to the transducer as reflected echoes. When the crystal receive an echo it again deforms and a voltage is produced on its faces. Now this voltage is converted into an image which is displayed on the monitor. So overall what is happening? Electrical energy is converted to sound energy and the sound energy is again converted into electrical energy. Thicker element produces a lower frequency sound wave while a thinner element produces a higher frequency sound wave. The larger the voltage applied, the greater the amplitude or loudness of the emitted ultrasound wave. Very short pulses of sound are required for diagnostic ultrasound images to be produced. Because of this reason, vibration of the crystal is stopped short by a damping material. The shape of the ultrasound beam is important to the quality of image it produces. The ultrasound beam profile is made of three parts, near field or Fresnel zone, transition point, then far field of Fragoffer zone. Transition point is the point at which near field ends and divergence begins. Near field is the part of the wing which is useful for imaging purposes. 
imaging requires a very narrow beam to produce high resolution diagnosis that's why focusing is used to achieve these narrow beams focusing is achieved with help of acoustic lens several types of transducer probes are available their construction varies depends upon the type of examination or characteristics of the anatomic region to be imaged so i am going to explain about three basic types of transducer probe so the first important probe is linear probe so it have a rectangular beam so here piezoelectric crystals are arranged in a linear way or in lines to create straight sound waves and they run at high frequency to produce a better image resolution it is mostly used to scan small as well as shallow structures like thyroid gland next is convex array or curvy linear or curved linear array transducer probe so here multiple piezoelectric crystals or elements are arranged along a curved transducer head they are useful for more in depth examinations like musculoskeletal or abdominal examinations next is sector or phased array transducer probe phase refers to timing array refers to multiple elements so here the beam is controllable because each element in this phased or sector array transducer probe can be pulsed individually at a computer calculator timing that is in a programmed pattern so this type is mostly useful for cardiac imaging till now we studied about transducer probe now we are going to study about cpu or central processing unit so it is the brain of the ultrasound machine it is basically a computer and it contains microprocessor memory amplifiers power supplies for transducer probe and microprocessor microprocessor is nothing but a miniature electronic device that contains very small components like transistors resistors diodes that work together computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data is to be processed and the instructions required for processing are stored now what is the basic role of the cpu the cpu sends electrical currents to the transducer probe to emit sound waves and it also receives the electrical pulses from the probes that are created from the returning echoes so the cpu does all of the calculations involved in processing of the data once the data are processed the cpu forms the image on the monitor display is the computer monitor that shows the processed data from the cpu so displays can be black and white and the color depending upon the model of the ultrasound machine next is transducer pulse controls which allows the operator or ultrasonographer to set and change the frequency and duration of the ultrasound pulses as well as scan mode of the machine which i will be explaining later many ultrasound machine have thermal printers they can be used to capture a hard copy of the image from the display keyboard and mouse allow operator to add notes and take measurements from the data next is disk storage space the processed data or images can be stored on the disk the disk can be hard disk floppy disk compact disk or digital video disk in ultrasound imaging different modes are used to examine the different parts of the body modes can be controlled by the operator so three important modes are a mode m mode and b mode a mode or amplitude mode is used for distance measurement in tissues this mode is characterized by display of echoes at different heights of spikes or different amplitude spikes on a graph with depth or depth of structures at which the ultrasound beam encounters different tissues on x axis and echo intensity on y axis m mode or motion mode is similar to watching the movement of a basketball so it is analogous to recording a video in the ultrasound it displays movements of the structures continuously v mode or brightness mode displays images as 
large and small dots large dots represent the strong echoes and small dots represent the weak echoes the brightness of dots depends upon the amplitude as well as intensity of the echoes